This guy is the co-author of, where is it, where is it? I'm going to flash this book for the second time today, the best-selling book, Twitter Revolution, How Social Media and Mobile Marketing is Changing the Way We Do Business and Marketing Online. He is a marketing strategist, a strategist. He is a speaker, a blogger, host of the social media st show Twitcast Radio, which uh, we filmed live from his bed. Yes, that was disturbing. Uh, <clears throat> yes, it's, it's true. <laughs> Not like that, it was fun, but uh, it was fun. Not that much fun. Uh, he lives in Lost Wages, uh, Las Vegas, is best known for creating 32 bestseller book campaigns. His name is Warren Whitlock. Warren, how are you? Warren. Whitlockian. Warrenster. I see him. Do you hear me, Warren? It's good to tie on. Yeah, somebody? I hear you. There we are. Hey, Warren, good to see you. Great to be here. Yeah, appreciate that. Now, uh, are, are, you, are you in yeah. um, a Yonix thing also? There's the book. I sure am. Yeah, a lot of people out there at the underground. Yep. Yeah, it was. Uh, there was for the pre day to day. I think there was three hundred people in the room. Oh, that's great! Uh, event actually, a, a big event. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I'm sorry I'm missing it. As you can see, I'm kind of tied up here, and tomorrow I shall be uh, in my bed, probably catatonic for at least a good half of the day. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I had one of those this morning after flying across the country. But uh, hey, I'll be out there telling people about the live straw. Well, I appreciate that, and I know Ken Surrett appreciates that as well, and this is just, uh, it really is an amazing device to think that you can go take me to the river with all its nastiness and muddiness and bacteria and, and who knows what else is in there and be able to drink out of it and, and have water that will give you life. Wow. How amazing. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, you know, the, you, you are doing the right thing. Uh, you know, I've been... Uh, talking about uh, clean water for uh, she's a while, and uh, definitely it's been my big thing on Twitter for the past several months, and uh, I was excited to find out that you are, uh, um, you know, working on this project, and uh, I'd like to take your cue and go ahead and tell people that if they, uh, I'm going to take a look at the sales of my book on Amazon and uh, buy a life straw for everybody that uh, buys a book today and uh, probably tomorrow, too. Well, there you go, now. folks, right there. Go grab a copy of Twitter Revolution, uh, How Social Media and Mobile Marketing is Changing the Way We Do Business and Market Online by Warren and uh, Coach Deb with uh, Ford by Robert Scoble. And for every book that's purchased today and tomorrow, uh, yeah, we'll make it through tomorrow. Today and tomorrow, Warren is going to personally that's sponsor awesome. a Life Straw. And that's uh, that's really generous of you, Warren. And, and uh, you know, this is definitely a book that's worth having. It's an excellent compliment to uh, Twitter Power. In fact, they're paired together on uh, Amazon right now. They're better together. See? It's sure, like two. Sure. Yeah. two. And, yeah, you know, the, the thing you get out of the books is, uh, of course, besides, you know, the ever-loving, Ever, 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 never ending love and appreciation of Joel or me or Deb. Um, the um, really what you get out of it is a um, is you know different takes of what to do. In our book, uh, we quoted hundreds of people, the the thought leaders and the people that were on, uh, you know, up to it like a year ago or more about what they had to say. And uh, and then Joel, I've seen your book. Uh, you know, to get Twitter power, you need to read that book. So. Uh, yeah, um, and um, today's the day to buy both of them because you're you're doubly helping out uh, the cause for clean water. Absolutely, and Warren, there's something you haven't done yet. You have not tweeted. You have not tweeted that you're live on the show. Oh, <laughs> I had a technical problem come up a few minutes ago, and we got to do that. Yeah. Your followers yeah. want to know where they can find you right now, so tell them you're at tweetathon2009.com, and. Uh, See? And, and let them know that they can meet us here and that we're going to be talking Twitter. Oh, you, you got uh, that, mail. Definitely, I was tweeting for because of the wonderful guest you've had. I've been uh, I tweeted about laws. and uh, that, Am I saying that right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, on with Joe. Uh, how do I spell Joe Com? Let me see. Do it right. Uh, That's how. Yeah, well... If there's one thing for sure, I tweet enough that I'm going to um, 
say it wrong at some time. Uh, Rob, Rob McNeely is uh, back in the room. Rob, thanks for coming up here. He kind of helped us, I think, that second hour and uh, helped us launch this thing off today and spent the day with my team and, and ate our food, which uh, we offered. I mean, it wasn't like it's he It's amazing at eating food. Yeah. I've seen him do that. He did really well at it, from my understanding, but there's still food left, so there's still work to be done, and, and uh, glad he could join us. And uh, Jason Moffitt's still there. He joined us for a little bit. I see Felicia Slattery. Uh, hey, Jason. Matt Basak. Yeah. So did you just Twitter? Yeah, I did. It's out there. It's out there. I used to dot com, and it uh, should have been out with a lot of other places. So let's see if we've got it. I haven't got it on my tweet deck yet. Are you listening? You know what I didn't do was put the tag to Joel Com. I don't see it in your Twitter stream. Readathon. Yeah, now, you know this high tech stuff. I'm not sure if I get this Twitter yet. I'm working on it. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you know, there's a hashtag, of course, for clean drinking water as well. Uh, CDW and um, W. Yeah. We uh, we trended on uh, on the TAT09 for hours today, uh, the one and two position. It was really exciting how many people were talking about this. And uh, uh, Chris, do we know how many thousands have come through the? Uh, uh, early on, I had a reading of ten thousand, and then we had our connection break, and it started at zero, and now we're back up to thirteen thousand. That was actually after the second connection break, so at least twenty-five thousand. At least twenty-five thousand people have uh, been through the wow. stream today. And um, hopefully, you, they're not all sitting here and watching all twelve hours. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're the w people in this room are the only ones who have been here all twelve hours. And uh, I assure you, we're feeling it. I'm thinking right about now, uh, a masseuse right behind me, working my shoulders and my neck, uh, would be a really good thing. Ain't gonna happen. Well, I think that's one of the things we really need to emphasize about how social media works. First of all. Everybody, I think I heard you say this early in the show, but something I say several times a day, everyone on Twitter right now is an early adopter. I agree. We're just getting started. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, you know, it's not going to get overloaded. Uh, if Mark Joyner used Twitter the way he should, he would, he would know that. Uh, obviously, there are some celebrities who are going to have some t trouble keeping up with everything that happens. But, boy, I have no problem uh, reading all the app messages I get right now. Uh, and uh, I, you know, and I know if I send one to you, I'm going to get an answer. And uh, same if I send one to Gary Vee or Scobalizer, I'm going to get an answer. Uh, and I wouldn't know these guys in real life if it wasn't for for Twitter and being able to meet them. So we have a long ways to go. Yeah, the technology will have to change some way. If you're still at the point where you're not following that many people and you can read all the tweets that come up. Well, just add me, and you'll not be able to do that. You're a heavy um, user, all, Warren. You're, I, you, yeah. are, you are definitely a heavy user. I mean, I'm looking at your stats right now. You have 18,000-plus followers. You have almost 17,000 people you're following, and you've updated almost 15,000 times. Those number, those are the, especially the ratio of followers following in updates. That update number is way up there. You are very engaged. Yeah, well, and it's the thing is, there's such great people. There's people I want to talk to. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, in that eighteen thousand, there's somebody in there that I haven't talked to, at least one. I'm thinking probably thousands, but I wish I had stats on that. But the stat I really like is when I take a look at how many of the people. You know, there's some things that rate how what percentage of the of the things you uh, send out are um, are replies, and that's very high for me. And I like that. I keep it that way. I'm not there to to preach what I have. I'm in there to engage in conversation. And the other one I'm quite proud of is that, you know, things get retweeted and talked about. And when we talk about something, it goes out. Like, uh, I've been watching your stats today going, hey, pretty impressive, 500 people. You tell me it's 25,000. Uh, we don't see those stats on what's happening on Twitter. But when I've seen some calculations of a tweet that you send out, if it's an important enough thing, like the plane just crashed or there's a tsunami Something like that. The number of people you can reach in one or two iterations from the or iterations from the uh, time that you uh, tweeted. If somebody, you know, if it was, if it's important enough news, tens or hundreds of thousands of people are going to be exposed to it within within minutes, and that changes everything. Uh, we've seen 
like uh, the Motrin example where somebody was offended by the uh, Motrin ad and that you know blew up and they had the ad down uh, from the Motrin.com site within 20 hours mm. and uh, you know the the people were ready to kill by then. So I, you know I saw the same thing today. There's a app yesterday that was sending out DMs uh, to you know send all your followers and tell them to come join up for this site. Uh, today, uh, the, the people yesterday uh, jumped right on and told me they were going to change it, and today it wasn't changed. I mentioned it. They came back on and they said, hey, we were going live at, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon San Francisco time, and I'm going like, you know, that used to be okay. That isn't okay anymore. And so if you're not on, on you've been using Twitter and paying attention to what people are saying, they're not going to stop talking about you. So now more than ever, it's real important to, to – uh, Keep track of everything. I think you already talked today about uh, about Zappos and you know how they they're going to check if you uh, say anything about shoes. Right. Uh, I talked to Frank from Comcast Cares. He's got a staff of ten people. So try putting uh, Comcast, and that's how I that's how I set up the interview. I mentioned Comcast uh, as an example, a company that gets it, and somebody from Comcast contacted me. I invited them on my radio show. They said, no, you need to talk to Frank. And within 10 minutes, I was, I was uh, connected with Frank. Hmm. So there are people, uh, same thing with uh, the Luxor. You know, nice, unique word, Luxor LV. If you say anything about the Luxor, they're going to they're gonna read it. They may not always respond. You don't want them in your face responding all the time. But they're going to be listening. They, they're going to read what you have to say. Absolutely. They're watching, and they should watch. I mean, this is where people are talking, and why not use Twitter as a, a customer liaison and a support desk to be able to communicate directly? I think it's brilliant. Yeah, I think, that's, I think we're going to see more and more of that in the future, which brings up an interesting point. When customer service is, is combined with what they were calling a marketing function of the social media marketing, and then there's you can get sales off of it. You start melding together those departments that were separate. I've seen it. I was out at Zappos last month. Uh, I've seen it. Everybody is you know aware of Twitter and do, they've got a culture that's everywhere uh, like that. Um, you know the the uh, Las Vegas location Henderson does not have the the shoes there, so I didn't get any free shoes. Yeah. But uh, but you know the culture is that you could talk to anybody and think about how cool would it be if you have a problem with your cell phone or your cable TV or anything that you knew somebody by name that worked for the company, um, and it goes against everything that they've tried to build up in uh, you know call centers and uh, and corporate websites over the last uh, you know with decades ever since I've been watching what's going on. This is the first time we're seeing corporations turn around and actually listen to what people have to say on such a mass basis. Um, I think it's going to revolutionize not just the way we communicate and sell things, but it's going to revolutionize every sort of business. Um, and I'm always quick to say that doesn't mean that's going to be Twitter, and Twitter's going to be on every desk in every office. It's going to be that type of application that's going to be coming in. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you. And, uh, you know, where do you see... Uh um, Twitter, let's just say a couple of years from now, are they sold? Yeah, well, I like to, <laughs> actually, I've been quite vocal the last few days of saying I don't want to speculate. Somebody came up with an idea of what have happened, but <clears throat> let's just take a look at what's been happening so far. The guy starting, starting Twitter started Blogger. Everybody told him, you'll never make any money at this, and then he sold it to Google. Let's put all those names in a hat and say, it looks like these guys probably got a pretty good idea of how to get a whole lot of money. I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> of course, they just closed another big round of uh, financing. There's a reason why they're not putting on ads and experimenting with selling other things. Uh, that's going to be coming. Something will come. It will change. But, uh, yeah, if I, if I had to guess, I'd say, you know, someday you're going to log into your live.com or Facebook account or MySpace or something, Maybe uh, maybe the Google product, uh, uh, Google profiles are getting pretty strong. Uh, even Amazon, um, you know, Amazon's a fantastic social media platform uh, for if you're a reader. Uh, but they've got you know there's a lot of hooks in there where you'll be able to sell stuff from the people mm -hmm. you're you're talking to. Yeah. Uh, one of those big companies buys Twitter and it becomes you know a part of what they do, and it never has to be monetized the way that we've been speculating that it might be. 
It's coming, though. We know it is. It's just a matter of time. Uh, Warren, appreciate you joining us tonight for this and appreciate your offer. Uh, any copy of Twitter Revolution, Warren and Coach Deb's book that uh, is uh, purchased uh, on Amazon and today or twice. Today or tomorrow, there's the book. Um, Warren is going to donate uh, a water straw for each copy that's purchased. So I encourage you to go and take a look at that. Uh, Warren, thanks for joining us, and I'll look forward to the next time we meet again. I know it'll be soon. Good. I'm sure You're doing good work here, Joe. Go, go, let's go for clean water, CDW. Love it. Thanks, Warren. Thanks, take Warren. care, my friend.